Key Hong. Okay. Don't care today. The Breakfast Club, bitches. I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. Well, Donkey of the Day for Wednesday, February 22nd. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd. I've been getting the dates wrong. Oh, it, it is. Uh, it goes to a young man named Alan Lynch Jr. Now, he's 23 years old, and he's from Texas, and he's facing charges after recording himself fleeing from a state trooper. Today's the 22nd, by the way. You said 21st, right? Mm -hmm. No, I did not. Oh, my bad. I said I said 22nd, didn't I, Ray? I know yeah, that. Did he say 21st? I said he February said 22nd. 22nd. No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, you the one high. Anyway. <laughs> so I'm smarter than all you know. <laughs> Alan Lynch Jr. is a 23-year-old from Texas, and he's facing charges after recording himself fleeing from a state trooper during a traffic stop. Uh, let me tell you about this generation. I don't even think, you know... It's a generational thing as far as age. Just this era that we live in, this world where people have a world within the world we live in. Did you understand what I just said? We live in a world where people live in a world within the world we live in, okay? Mm -hmm. There is Earth and what we do on it. Then there's whatever planet you choose to live on via social media. Some of y'all planet is Instagram, some is Facebook, some is Tic Tac, some is YouTube. Tic Tac, yo. Yeah, there you go. Some of y'all planet is Twitter, okay? Yes, people are living on the planet of the apps. And for some strange reason, folks who live on these apps think that what they do on these apps have no real world impact. And we've been seeing this for years. Why folks haven't grasped that, yes, uh, what you do online will absolutely get you jammed up offline is beyond me. And that's why we are here today to speak on Alan Lynch Jr. See, Alan recorded himself being pulled over by a state trooper. Completely understandable in this day and age, okay? Because just like the New York lottery, hey, you never know. All right, let me keep these cameras on in case this officer is having a bad day and things go left. Mm -hmm. Well, they went left, but not because of the state trooper. They went left because Alan Lynch Jr. is a damn fool, okay? See, the state trooper asked Alan for his license and told him to get out the car, mm -hmm. and then this happened. Let's go to ABC 13 Houston for the report, please. What could have been a routine traffic stop for Alan Lynch Jr. and maybe a ticket has now turned into a felony. And he's pretty much laid out the evidence for law enforcement. So, y'all, I got away. Round and applaud, round and applaud. A but five and a half minute mm. video posted by Alan Lynch Jr. to YouTube, bragging about getting away from a state trooper who pulled him over earlier this month. That traffic stop on I-10 near Eldridge Parkway back on February 4th, seen here in the video Lynch posted. Hello, sir. Hello, Texas Highway Patrol. Reading for the stop is your expired temp tag. I just got this car today. Okay, do you have your driver's license on you? Yeah, I do. All right, then go I ahead do. and step out with me as well. Uh, the 23-year-old takes off, seen weaving through cars on the interstate in his Dodge Charger, and then you hear a crash. State Highway Beltway Lynch documented himself, quote, ducking off, as he put it, hiding from law enforcement at an apartment complex that day for hours. But he was identified, located, and arrested this week, charged with felony evading. I don't even got to play a game, but guess what race it is? He's saying ducking off and driving a Dodge Charger. with my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> as many dumbass conversations as folks like to have about snitching, who's a snitch, what's a snitch, all that <laughs> foolishness, we still have not had the conversation about people snitching on themselves via social media. Would you like to hear <laughs> Alan Lynch Jr. discuss his getaway in that Dodge Charger? You want to hear him talking about ducking off? Absolutely. Yes. Let's listen. I do. They going to have to carry me first, man. I ain't finna tell you. You feel? You think I'm going to make their job easy. Their job is to catch us. Our job is to run away. I know y'all need to go ahead, like, come and subscribe, and he's going up from here. Oh, and, um, yeah, I hope y'all like the video. <laughs> Everybody who checking in, I'm, I'm good. I'm straight. That's why I'm making this video to let y'all know I'm good. I'm straight. But don't try that at home. Nobody try none of that stuff that's not safe. Just hilarious. Mm -hmm. Guess mm -hmm. what race he is? <laughs> <laughs> he is black, and he is black as... <laughs> F. Sounds for sounds, real. Sounds, and I love it. it. Sounds a little white to me. I love it. Oh! <laughs> Chill out. Oh, Alan. I, I love it. I love it. First of all, Alan, you did make the police job easier because you got on the FBI's internet and recorded yourself <laughs> running away from law enforcement. Damn it, man. You know how sometimes police cut their body cameras off because they know they about to violate your ass? Right. Yes. They know they about to do something they don't got no business doing. That's what Alan should have done, okay? If you had plans to duck off from the police, simply turn your camera off. You ain't got to go live, okay? Yeah. yeah. And I'm not encouraging anyone to run away from the police. I'm just saying if you was trying not to get caught, common sense would say, 
don't record yourself and put it online for the whole world to see. I think people forget it's the world wide web, mm -hmm. not just your world <clears throat> wide web. Okay. And I really do hate you like and subscribe ass Negroes. Okay. All right. He did give a, he did say at the end, he was very supportive. He said, don't try this at home. Please <laughs> don't try this at home. So don't, don't do all that. Cause he did, he's doing a, a good deed in the community. I just don't understand why he had the nerve to say that them people got to catch you first. Why they got to catch you when you done caught yourself? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, police don't have to fish anymore. Y'all jumping right into their boats. That's exactly what this is, okay? Mm -hmm. Allen is one of them social media silver cops. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all know what them cops are. Them cops are them dangerous fish. Some of them are dangerous because them silver cops can get real big, like 40 pounds, and they jump out the water because they be scared of the boats, but sometimes they jump right into the boat. All right, mm -hmm. I've seen videos where those cops jump out the water and land right into the boat. That's what y'all Negroes are doing when y'all get on social media and record yourselves doing crimes, mm -hmm. okay? You had the nerve to think you was being slick and recording yourself getting away when the reality is all you was doing was giving prosecutors exhibit A in the case against Alan Lynch Jr., Please let Remy Ma give this young man the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb. Now, Jess, you tell me why you over there moaning. That turned you on for some reason. You like- Yo, you, relax, yo. <laughs> you like a high-speed getaway. <laughs> <laughs> Drive faster. Yo, it's going up. Like you said, it's going up. It's going up. I hope y'all like the video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, it is what it is, mercy. man. All right. Oh, well, thank man. you for that donkey today, sir. <laughs> yes, indeed. Today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.